Good morning, and welcome to online worship for Trinity United Church of Christ and Church of the Isles United Church of Christ in St. Petersburg and Indian Rocks Beach. We are churches who proclaim and seek to live ever more faithfully the truth that no matter who you are or where you are on life's journey, you are very, very welcome. No matter what shade of skin you have, who you love, what if any gender specificity you proclaim, no matter your ability or your mobility, wherever you are on life's journey, no matter how long you have to travel, you are welcome here. We support a variety of ministries, food pantries, partners who help those experiencing homelessness and human trafficking, those formerly incarcerated, and those working for change and justice for our siblings living in black and brown bodies. We thank you for all the ways that you support our work with your prayers, your financial support, and by watching our online worship. We hope that when it is safe to return, that you will join us for in-person worship services so that we can welcome you. This service today is a celebration of Father's Day and more than that, an acknowledgement that our relationships with God and with one another are nuanced and is filled with variety as is the creation itself all around us, filled with beauty. I hope that it will invite you to ponder deeply all the ways that you have been blessed to be a blessing in the ways that we touch one another's lives. I now invite you to join me as we pray together by taking a few deep centering breaths. Spirit, in this new day, you are ever present and always creating. Waves tumbling and moving, coming together and falling apart. Tides that move the world, move in us. We sit in thanksgiving for the chance to be alive and to take in every bit of the beauty of existence, the holiness of all that is. We remember today those who are suffering, the earth herself broken apart by damage done to her body, poison in her water, her air strangled by the chokehold of greed her plants cut down, her animals suffering violence. May we as your people remember and learn our original connection, our love for earth and act in reverence and repair. We pray for all those who are ill, those who are alone, and those who are dying. We pray for the workers who care for them and who care for us. For researchers and loved ones everywhere who are experiencing the frustration and the trauma of not being able to help. We pray for our own friends, for Shirley F.O. as she deals with cancer treatment for Shirley F.I. after a recent hospitalization, for Marla B. as she mourns the death of her brother-in-law, and for her sister who struggles with cancer. We pray for Guy, for Leslie, for Nancy as they face surgeries this month, for Holly S. with health concerns, and for John R., who has been hospitalized with cancer. 
We pray for our siblings who live in black and brown bodies, who live every day with the scourge of racism that threatens their very lives and the lives of their children. Forgive us for our complicity in and our willful unconsciousness to the systemic violence in our communities and nation and world. The winds of change are blowing all around and within us, Spirit. Discontent, pain, violence, disease, and fear have battered so many people, destroying the lives of creatures, convulsing the earth. And out of the chaos, we hear your voice crying for justice in the gasps for freedom, in the longing for healing. We long for help, O oh God, and we pray for the courage to learn and to act. Help us to behave in ways that bring a better life for those like us and those unlike us. We give thanks today for our mentors in faith, fathers and mothers and others who have helped to teach us. As we live into this new day, may we be worthy of their example and mentors in our own right to those who watch our lives every day. May we work for justice and live in peace, following the example of Christ and all the teachers, all those who love your ways. Amen.